Hey, Ken. What's up? God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when we're working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. I have no idea what to do with these. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed her. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Here. I found these, if Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. I got no idea how to get the engine started. That guy in the cab probably knew. Yeah, well, he isn't talking. Well, he had to learn it somewhere. Definitely pry this thing free, if I can break it loose first. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Derailed. I'm leaving. Don't move. Don't you fucking move. I'm not going to hurt you. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No way! Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Crazy bitch! 
Fuck! Stop! Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah.
Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah. I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Chuck. Howdy. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Stop the train. Duck's just about gone back there, man. Don't feed me that bullshit. He'll be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up. On Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Knock this shit off. So, you want to fight then? <sighs> yeah, I do. You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's got to knock some sense into you. <laughs> Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Doc doesn't need you! <laughs> I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this. You bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. You wanna hurt people because you're afraid? Losing Duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! The boy's been bit. 
case you haven't figured that out. We shouldn't waste time. There ain't none left to waste. I'm saying we shouldn't stay put. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Kenny, you're his dad. You do it. And I'm his mother. Lee's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world junk. Shush. He's still a baby boy. It would be different if he were older. Let me do this. Then I'm coming with you. No, hon. Stay with Lee. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. Conscious taking care of Doc. I thought he was going to die. She's putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem, things are. It had to be done. Okay. There was no other choice. Okay. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Why, cat? Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> Shouldn't have let her come out here by herself. She couldn't. She, 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 she just. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Dad, you gotta do this. 
Just put an end to it, man. Do it!